One year and a few days after the acting president officially flagged off the cleanup of Ogoni land, representatives of the United Nations Development Program are here to ascertain the level of implementation of the UNEP report. Kawa, in Kana local government area of River State, one of the communities with polluted sites, is the first port of call. Delegations from the United Nations and the Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project meet with the community leaders. The team then proceeds to a contaminated site where a remediation exercise is being conducted. The project coordinator of the Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project explains work done so far. We set up a four-man committee from each of the local governments to um, identify all water supply treatment facilities across Ogoni land. The resident coordinator of the United Nations in Nigeria believes Leaves. The cleanup exercise requires a detailed scientific process. My appeal is patience to ensure that the required technical um, um, needs to, to ensure that there is um, an impact at the end of the day is actually done properly. While advocating that the cleanup exercise of Ogoni land should not be caught up in the web of politics, Governor Wiki says that the agitations of the people must be taken seriously. Soothe your eyes. You really pity us. And this is what causes the agitation in the minds of our people. The government has taken the oil. My environment is degraded and uh, nothing seems to be done. Those who are farmers cannot farm because the lands are no longer fertile. Those who are fishermen can no longer go to fish because the water is uh, polluted. The seemingly painstaking cleanup process, according to the operators of the exercise, will also require the cooperation of the community leaders and the locals, as well as a framework that will ensure that it spans through every five year period for the next 30 years. Emmanuel Irei, Channels Television News.